I think the most impactful concept I heard, it's actually not even a concept, it's, it's really living the promise of customer centricity. And as John Watson from Hallmark was describing it, you begin to realize that customer centricity isn't complex, it's actually simple, but it's very hard. And if you enforce it and you look through that lens and all the decisions you make, uh, that's really authenticity. Right? You can't say authenticity, you have to demonstrate it. So I think uh, how do you organize your organization, your resources against the customer, not against segments. You don't claim the brand values, you let them belong to the customer and then you steward them. Um, I think in addition to John's comments, I would pull out a couple of other big themes um, along the lines of it's simple but it's hard is you have to start. Uh, I read a quote recently about writers, which is if you want to be a writer, why don't you start writing? Um, and the same, in the same vein, you know, if you're thinking about making content, great, get on it. Start making content. Um, don't sit and wait for your creative agencies to do it for you. Uh, don't expect that your social agency or your digital, digital agency is going to integrate and coordinate with all of your other agencies to make that happen for you. Uh, you as a brand have to start dictating that and probably demonstrating it by example and not just uh, order. It's funny, uh, I, this is more than any conference I've ever been to. I've, I've sort of heard a lot of overlapping themes, not just with what I was intending to say, but among the other, other presenters. And I think uh, in a very real way that's encouraging because it means that a lot of us are going through the same experiences, whether you're on the brand side, the agency side, or the partner side. Uh, my goal this afternoon is to give people something to take home and I'm going to do it through a fairly personal set of stories um, but also the encouragement to start, start, get going, try something. Um, and again, I think it, it's great when you can have um, uh, some of the brands who are here singing the same song uh, and so really it's a call to action for agencies and partners to lock arms and help deliver that for the clients. One thing that I encouraged with my team when I arrived um, at Periscope actually would work well at larger agencies and that was, um, I, I, I said let's, let's go on the assumption that the client needs us to be integrated. Right? That doesn't mean we collapse necessarily all of the silos, but at least the people in different silos should be talking to each other. Um, one thing I did was, I, and I'm not exaggerating about this, I paid people $20 if they invited themselves to meetings. So if they walked by a conference room and thought, I should be in there, if they walked in, I'd give them 20 bucks. All they had to do was report to me that they'd done it. Now they had to say, what did they learn? What was the value of it? How did they navigate any friction or objection over that? But at the end of the day, those are the choices people are making. Right? The person who's making the meeting is choosing to include or exclude. Sometimes subconsciously, sometimes deliberately. The people who walk by and let the meeting happen without everyone's voice in there, are letting that happen. And, and, and while there may be constraints about the number of chairs in the room or hours in the day, there's nothing we can do about that. But there is something we can do about you know, who needs to hear, who needs to speak, and who needs to tell coming out of the meeting. I've been blown away by how organically the themes have woven in with each other. Um, and I think that makes for a really powerful experience. Um, I think one challenge is, and this is speaking both as a co-host and someone who's also obviously sat in the audience and listened, um, how do we find ways to, to create the takeaways, not just intellectually, but to influence the decisions we're making tomorrow, next week, next month, next quarter, um, in, in a way that we might feel like we have some, some either principles that we can walk away with, Mike and I asking people to write things down on a piece of paper, take that with you, use that. Um, is there follow-on, I mean, this kind of content, is there follow-on work that we can uh, uh, attack with audiences? Is there, is there um, a, a video conference we can do together to, you know, between now and the next Videonomic Summit to keep the audience engaged and sort of check in and say, how's that going? How are those objectives going? How, how's the work going against those goals? Get out of your bubble. It's that simple. The value proposition is simple. You're gonna sit here with partners who have technology and processes and products that you may have heard about. They might have been filtered or curated by an agency. You, some of your team might have heard about them and dismissed them and sort of you know, not message them up to you. Um, the reality is that until you have a chance to dive deeply into those opportunities and hear how much lateral commonality there is across brands, um, you're missing a big part of the story. So get out of the bubble.